Hey guys, Yobi here, back with another video, and this is every iPhone user ever. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, this? This is a brand new iPhone 11. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. What do you think of this? Is? And it's just the regular, every single iPhone that everyone else has, like... You know, the iPhone 10. Which one is this? Is this the 10? 10S? No, it's the 11. See, the one with two cameras. Doesn't every single one except the 10R has the two cameras? Uh, yeah. Though, how do you know this one's the 11? We see here, look. So with the so with the 10 and the 10S, the, the, the two cameras are connected. These are split. So that's the only difference, eh, basically, except that the regular, the regular 11 ha is a little s bigger than the 10 and 10s. Is that the basically the only difference? No, no, it's not. Then tell me. Uh. It's way different than my old phone. What phone did you have before? The 7? Well, yeah, because that's because technology advanced a way different from 2016 to 2019. It's been three years different. Do you think that's crazy? What about if you bought a 10S and then you upgrade from the 11? What would be the difference? Well, there's some differences, like the battery life's a little longer, I guess, like, like 5, 15 minutes, maybe an hour longer, depends. Depends on what model you have. Well, what's the price? That might be, that might be better. Oh, it's uh, $699. Okay, well, for, for the Pro, what's the price of the regular 11? Oh, no, this is the price for the regular 11. What? Are you insane, man? Why would you buy that? I mean, why would you buy, like, a, f a, a second base phone that isn't an actual flagship and is supposed to be the cheaper option for only $300 less? Well, I really like the way the 11 works, and it's I think it's way better than just buying an SE or buying a new phone, but you have to use the prepaid option. Well, what's the crazy features? Well, they have Face ID. Well, the other ones have Touch ID. Do you really think a face compared to a finger is better? Well, it's kind of a little better because there were so many glitches with the Touch ID that made the Touch ID more easy to hack. All you had to do was use a Sharpie and a marker for the Touch ID and then put tape on it. And then you just put your finger on the phone and then it unlocked. Well, how does Face ID then work? Well, Face ID is different. All you have to do is unlock it with your face, and that's harder. You, you have to phys If you're going to try and steal someone's phone, you can't unlock it unless you have their face. And if they somehow get a picture of my face, it, it won't work. And then they will have to think of the password, even if, even if the Face ID doesn't work. Okay, well then why, well, then what, so besides the Face ID, why did you buy it? Well, I like the two cameras, and my 7 was getting, was, wasn't the best, it was kind of, it did the job, but the battery life wasn't the greatest, so I upgraded. Is it really that difference? Yeah, it actually is. Okay, we're good to know that you will have that phone for a few years. Oh, wait a minute. The brand new iPhone just came out. Whoa, it has, it can do that? That's a neat feature. No, don't do it. Don't be the basic iPhone user. But I, no. But I want to. No. You know what? Sick and tired of you acting like the boss of me. I'm going to buy it. <sighs> This is why I'm an Android user. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and what I said on the last part of the video is not true. I am an iPhone user, in case you didn't read the title. It's an iPhone versus an Android user, and if you don't see more than two people, I mean two people, it's because I'm the one person doing this video. I just wanted to talk that out and stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!